Hey, Docs, hey, thanks so much for making the time. It's, uh, it's been great uh, to getting to know you. I'll give you a little personal story before we kind of start out. I, Duck said um, at the last um, Inspire back in gosh, July in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. he sent out this uh, awareness saying, hey, come meet uh, me and some Microsoft people on a run. And I'm like, that's kind of crazy. Like, why, why would I want to go on a run in Las Vegas in the heat uh, in the middle of July? But I did. I got a great opportunity to, to meet Ducks. And uh, so thanks for making the time to, to ch chat with me. Hey, buddy, the pleasure is mine. It's so rare for me to connect with my fellow Pinoys, right? So uh, <laughs> any opportunity to run and talk about food, I'm all in. That's right. That's right. So what I thought I'd do is because uh, in case you didn't know, background, Ducks works is he's the chief marketing officer at AppPoint, fantastic um, partner of Microsoft, user of Microsoft, but also Ducks is a MVP someone who really embraces and understands the Microsoft point of view and helps to amplify that point of view with value to customers and to other partners, et cetera. And so uh, in case you don't know me, I'm Brian Galicia. I've been at Microsoft for 12 years and I focus on all things related to LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Dynamics. So for me, I help customers turn relationships into revenue. And so as Ducks and I have had conversations off and on via social, uh, in indirect conversation, I figured why not have a dialogue around uh, uh, Dux's point of view on teams, my point of view on business applications, and how they come together. Because what we found is there's a lot of um, interesting uh, things that we're doing, but not a lot of awareness where people see the value of where we're taking productivity and where we're taking business applications. So I thought I'd take a few moments to sync with Dux, get his perspective, what has he heard and seen? And then show you one simple scenario that I think will open the conversation because Ducks was kind enough to allow us to share his own profile because when we use Microsoft, we run on Microsoft. So I figured I'll just share Ducks's experience as me as a Microsoft sales leader. Well, how does he appear in teams and dynamics and how does that come together? So, so look, let, let me start with this, right? I think we're in an exciting time, especially with the cloud that we have all these technologies in our fingertips. In the past, while as much as everybody in the organization would like, like these powerful tools to get our job done faster, better, sooner, it's too much to do. But now with the cloud, it's not even an issue. To your point though, the challenge is, it's just awareness. People don't know what they have. And that's one thing I really love about Microsoft Teams. To me, Microsoft Teams is like the keychain that brings everything together. You know, for example, people these days, they, they use Teams for a lot of the most uh, common scenarios around collaboration, communication, you chat with people, you create a team, uh, you know, you work on a document, all that's great. But to me, the next level of goodness, so to speak, is to bring in all these next layer line of business application. You know, for example, a lot of folks may not know that uh, Microsoft is investing heavily on being able to integrate line of business apps into Teams. You just go to the Teams store uh, and you can get connectors not only for Microsoft technologies, but other technologies as well. Uh, okay. You can even extend it uh, to the next layer using advanced uh, technologies like bots and cognitive services, which uh, Brian will show you in a second. But specific to the business apps, uh, as what Microsoft calls the business apps, your Dynamics 365, the Power Platform, boy, there's so much you can do. So for example, if you're in a sales organization, you're working an opportunity, you go to Dynamics 365, you open an op, and you see some colleagues you're working with, or you wanna bring in some colleagues, directly from that opportunity, Dynamics 365, you can uh, uh, connect that or make that visible to a team, to a channel, and have a conversation around it, and then track it from there. And teams can truly be your one-stop shop, right? And, and I see my colleagues and even myself, uh, from that perspective, we use it heavily. And then the next area which we love is, you know, we use the Power Platform heavily, uh, from Power BI to provide visibility around our business, but also a lot of the internal metrics that I use for marketing. Um, and also Microsoft Flow, where you can take advantage of Flow with all the different built-in templates. And there's stuff like, for example, you know, this thing is mentioned on Yammer, make sure you post it on Teams so we'll get to it, right? Or or you monitor stuff on Twitter, or if there's something that you see on Dynamics 365, make sure if we, if we close an account or win a deal, uh, post a message, right? So things like that that you can automate uh, is, is really good. I don't even have to talk about Power Apps, but those alone, I think <laughs> people can get busy 
uh, really maximizing the investment they have with the Microsoft Cloud. Yeah, no, I think thanks to us. Because you think about it, as sellers, we all try to drive value with customers and no longer are the days, it's not just you or myself, we don't sell alone, we sell as a team. And so the beauty of teams and productivity tools is that how do you collaborate with this information exactly to the example you provided, Ducks, but then how do you put it in context back into tracking activities, tracking the engagement, who am I talking to, uh, what's the strength of the connection, all those things come together. And as we talked about prior to the recording, um, AppPoint has a free solution called Ava, which drives to your point, bots and being able to say, hey, I accidentally deleted an email. Can you please get it back? So what if you can extend that and say, hey, search contact Ducks Raymond and have that pull back business application details so I don't have to go in Dynamics to find that information. I can stay in the context of having teams, type that in on my phone or type that in on my desktop and see all that information. Yeah, why, why don't you show everybody? And you're pulling it from where? LinkedIn, right? Yeah, well, actually, that's funny. I'm pulling it not just from Teams, but I'm pulling it in with in context to Dynamics. And then, because we're talking about it, I'll just show what does LinkedIn look at. I mean, that's a separate conversation, but as you can imagine, at Microsoft, we're thinking about how do we pull all this wealth of information to provide you as customers an opportunity to be productive, to drive better outcomes. So as we see on the screen, when I go into, this is my team's, our, my own implementation of Microsoft, I go into this Dynamics area, and what I'm gonna see here is... So, so real Teams. quick, how'd you get this there? Did you go to the store and added the Dynamics app into Teams? Yeah, so what I did was, uh, that's at the very bottom, it's exactly what you just said, it's kind of towards the beginning of this conversation. Under the store, or in our case, more apps, this might be different because of course, our implementation, we always are dog pointing different things. So this might say more apps, this might say store, but somewhere on your team site, where you go to the store capabilities to connect teams to many different things, this is where you consume it. In that store, when you just type in Dynamics, there'll be a connector that pops up. And it might say preview, or of course we're ga a lot of different things, but you will see a Dynamics 65 capability. You have to do a little bit of easy configuration to say what tenant or what instance I'm gonna connect to, but once you do that, it starts to open up the connectivity which you see here. So how I got here, was there's two different options where you connect Teams and Dynamics today. One being a bot, which I'll show, and another one, which is I can pin exactly to what Duck said. I can pin a Dynamics record in the context of a Teams group. So if I'm chatting back and forth with Ducks on an opportunity, or not an opportunity, but just saying, hey, we're here's how we can drive success at a specific account, I can then go back in and pin that record of yeah. an opportunity of me to contact, et cetera. But for the purpose of this quick conversation, I'm, I just pulled up the bot in Teams that connects that connects to Dynamics. So I just made sure, because I never want to, you never know what happens in a demonstration. So I did this ahead of time, but let's just do this again. I can do uh, search context Ducks Raymond. And you can- and this is searching across the, your internal uh, Dynamics 365 tenant, right? That's right, that's yeah. right. So this could be connected to a Dynamics instance to where, in this case, it's our own instance, and I got permission, so privacy. Duck said it was okay for, <laughs> for me to show his record. So you can see here, I see who he is, I see his title, I see his address, I see his phone number, and you see different options below right. that allows me to engage this conversation, either staying in Teams or extending that within Dynamics. So as an example, if I created a post, exactly what Ducks mentioned, now let me just scroll over here to his record, I just did this ahead of time, so you didn't have to watch me type. You can see here a couple hours ago, just to make sure this was working, I posted that from Teams, and you can see here as the activity timeline, it actually posted that in Dynamics. So, Other so, so the post is an activity in Dynamics, right? That's correct. That's correct. Got so it. the good news is when you think about business applications, it's all about knowing the context of the conversation, so that we as sellers, marketers, whatever role you have we know what to do with that information. Or the system is intelligent enough to say, because this was happening, we think you should be doing this. So another good example, Ducks, is that as we are prepping for this conversation, I sent you a LinkedIn point drive. And for those of you who aren't aware, point drive is a capability that allows us to create very personalized content. So as a seller or a sales leader or a marketer, I can send information to a customer or to a prospect or to a contact. And the moment they engage in that information, 
I get insight that they looked at it. And so I noticed that uh, knowing that I sent this to you a few weeks ago, prior to the meeting about half an hour ago, you looked at it again, just to refresh mm -hmm. your context of the conversation. So you can see here, I also see that. If I scroll down, you could also see I tracked this appointment, meaning that this meeting that we set up with teams to say, hey, we're gonna have a conversation. You can see here, all this information is being pushed back into. So, so imagine, let's play, let's play this out, right? Imagine if I was a customer, you knew I looked at it, and maybe you set up a flow where it pinged you and say, hey, ducks, just look at it, give him a call, right? Hey, ducks, I, I saw you just look at the proposal or the presentation, what do you think? Uh, let's meet for a coffee and talk about it. Huge. It's Exactly. Huge. Exactly. When you think about then extending that to the broad assets of Microsoft, this is where when people ask, what's the difference between what Microsoft is doing compared to many different competitors? Because we do have really strong competitors in this market. I think our number one value add that we can bring from Microsoft is we provide all these capabilities that you could potentially light up. Not that you're, you're forced to, but you have the opportunity. Because another good example, Ducks, is that I ask the question to senior leaders and organizations I get involved with. I typically ask a question, what are the common tools your sellers use every day? And similar to your sellers at that point, the answer I always get is, of course, productivity tools, Teams, Office, Outlook, we can't live without that. Two, it's a CRM tool, whether it be Dynamics or some competitor or nothing, maybe just it's Outlook or Excel. You're tracking activities of information. And then finally, kind of a, a, a direct connection. If you're a B2B account like you and I are, what do we use when we go in to try to understand people we're having a conversation with? Or at least we hope that sellers are doing this. You go into LinkedIn. So you think about those scenarios on top of the power platform. We as Microsoft own all the assets that can drive and deliver this great index experience to customers to drive better outcomes. And, and if people want this experience, right? Because the common feedback I get, I wish I just have something like Outlook where I can do everything in Outlook. Guess what? They can take this interface at the most simplest form create a tab in uh, in teams right and then that's all right. this would be right right in there that's right all the scenarios that you as a cmo me as a sales leader microsoft how we all think about utilizing tools to get our job done and have better outcomes and experiences with our customers we're trying to put all these things together it's not perfect but we're trying to put all these things together to make sure that we're driving the best outcomes for you as customers who may be watching this to say, how do I, I have this business problem with business process issues. Mm -hmm. How do I solve that with technology? As long as I also have internally, because I always tell people change management. If you don't have the right process to define it. A tool isn't necessarily going to fix it, but That's if right. you have the process and you marry that with the right solutions, then you have digital transformation. You have the outcomes you can uh, uh, attempt to drive. That's right. That's right, Dutch. Well, I appreciate it. I think uh, I'm looking forward to your next uh, chew and chat. I think the next time that you're going to be in Seattle, I would love to have you um, come come uh, come to a restaurant or I'll invite you to a restaurant. We can do something very, very similar. And for those of you who want to learn more, definitely click on the comments. We're going to put a link to getting more insight information of how this works. If you're listening to this and you're a Microsoft customer today, definitely reach out to your Microsoft account team to learn more. Or if you're working with great partners like Ducks, ask them as well. We have AppPoint and many of our partners also are very familiar with these scenarios. More than happy to dive deeper into your specific scenario as someone listening to this. And uh, thank you so much, Ducks, for taking the time and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, engaging and having future conversations. Anytime, brother. See ya. Thank you for watching. If you found this informative, please like, share, and subscribe to Business Applications YouTube. There you will find more videos on customer success, Dynamics 365, the Power Platform, and Microsoft AI. To navigate there directly, visit aka.ms slash Business Applications YouTube.